Hello and welcome. This is Kendra and today I'm unboxing the August 2023 Crafty Courtyard kit called Let It Be and I apologize for my voice. I have had laryngitis for the past week and a half and it's not getting better. So um, rather than postponing this, I figured I'd go ahead and show you the unboxing. But you can tell by the name of this kit what the theme is and I'm super excited about it because I absolutely love bees. The Pink and Main Crafty Courtyard kits are one of the monthly subscription products. So if you want to receive a kit in the mail each month, you can join on the Pink and Main website. And what's great about being a subscriber is that you can receive 15% off other products in the store. The kits are an amazing value and are packed full of card making supplies. When you subscribe to the kits, it will be shipped around the 15th of the month, but you can still sign up and purchase it through the end of the month unless it sells out. Your subscription will change to the next month's box on the 1st. So if you'd like to subscribe, I will have a link down in the description box. This is an affiliate link, which means if you make a purchase, I earn a small commission at no extra cost to you. This helps to support my channel. Each kit comes in a mesh zippered project pouch. And the kits include a page that has some card sketches on the front to give you some ideas of some cards that you can make with the kit. And then the other side lists all of the contents along with a list of colors in the color palette. The monthly subscription kit base price is $34.99 and an automatic shipping charge is added based on your location. The kit includes six sheets of 100 pound 8.5 by 11 inch colored cardstock in these colors that you see here. The kit includes this pack of 84 glitter enamel dots in three different sizes in the colors of the kit and then there's this exclusive sequin mix that's great to use as embellishments or for making shaker cards these are the flat confetti sequins and I like to use these to add bling without having too much bulk on my cards but I'll show you the paper pad in just a moment but here's the embossing folder this is a hexagon pattern and it's called hex tiles and Oh my goodness, this is so cute. I love this stamp set. This is the exclusive photopolymer stamp set called Let It Be. And it's a combination of images and sentiments. It has five different bees, two hexagon patterns that have the look of dripping honey, plus a honey pot, some hearts, and this big wreath with flowers and leaves, and then four sentiments. And it also has coordinating dies for each of the images. It even cuts out the center of the wreath. And there, there's even dies for the small stamps. It also includes this large stencil that fits in the pink and main storage binders. It has a hexagon pattern at the top. And at the bottom, you can color in the wreath. And there's also where you can stencil the different parts of a bee. So cool. I'm really excited about this stencil. I'm looking forward to using it. All right, so now I will show you the six by six paper pad. This one is called Let It Be, and it contains 24 double-sided sheets. And I love that the paper has a heavier weight. It's more like cardstock, and it's got like a glossy sheen to it. So let me get this open here. So this first page is dots, and it has all the different colors on a white background and a black hexagon pattern on the back. A larger hexagon pattern with flowers, blue and white stripes on the back. And let me move this closer to the camera so you can see this pattern a little better. There's these blue circles with flowers in them and another outline of tiny dots around it. And then leaves. And then on the back side is a small hexagon pattern in green. And then that same circle pattern, but with bees inside. A yellow and blue hexagon pattern. The uh, bees with hearts on a blue background and then a pink small hexagon pattern that same floral pattern but this one is in dark pink and then yellow and white stripes and then another hexagon pattern with all of the different colors and on the back is black and white stripes there's diagonal stripes with all the colors and uh, looks like a yellow hexagon pattern on the back and then this beautiful plaid pattern here with pink and white stripes on the back. And then this looks like the leaves on the stamp, the flowers and then hexagons on a blue background. And then on the back side is a dark pink small hexagon pattern and then 
flowers and hearts on a white background with a blue hexagon pattern and then a bigger hexagon pattern in blue with flowers and I'll turn this around this is a yellow and white pattern it looks like dripping honey and then it starts back over from the beginning so there's two sheets of each design and like I mentioned before there's 24 sheets but this is such an awesome paper pad and I love the colors now I'll be sharing the cards that I make with this kit soon here on my channel so if you're not already a subscriber I hope you'll consider subscribing and also subscribe to the Pink and Main YouTube channel for more card making inspiration. I'd love it if you would click the thumbs up button and leave me a comment to let me know you stopped by. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a wonderful day.